and welcome to Psychic Moon Tarot Reading. So today's reading is all about finding out what kind of lifestyle will you be living uh, in the next five years from now. Okay, so this reading is a glimpse of your life in the next five years. How are you going to live? Uh, what is it that uh, you're going to enjoy? How is your life going to look like overall? In the next five years from now so if you're interested uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel because i post videos like this every single day uh, and my readings are very healing and very very uh, intuitive messages that i channel from the universe from the cosmos with a lot of love and best wishes okay so ignore the barking of my dog in the background i can't help he is uh, agitated by some sound in the neighborhood and um, he's not ready to stop. So moving on to the reading, we have three piles uh, and these are actually, uh, you know, you get these uh, stamp um, shape cutters. So these are uh, puncture machines, which are different shapes and they're also different colors. So Pile number one is this pink one and the shape is a flower. Pile number two is this red one and this is a heart. And pile number three is this green one and the shape is a clover. Okay. So those are the three piles. Okay. I will hold them like this to you. So you can take your time, see which is the one that you want to listen to, pile number one, pile number two, or pile number three, okay? So let's begin with pile number one, which is the pink flower. Okay, so pile number one, what is the kind of life that you are going to have in the next five years from now? What is the energy around you in the next five years? So in the next five years, um, this is 2024, so 2029. Wow. Something is coming along, okay? I see that um, you are being celebrated. You are being uh, cheered by a lot of people. And, you know, there is a lot of... Uh, abundance around you you live in a huge uh, house and the, the empress is telling me that you know you have learned to drop in the next five years from now pile number one you have learned the lesson of shedding unnecessary weight from your shoulders think that things that you know unnecessary weigh you down you have learned to put them down and enjoy yourself, okay? So I see that in the next five years, you have evolved as, in the, as the empress, okay? You are living the empress energy and you have everything at your disposal. You have staff, you have a big house, you have stability at home, you have friends and family, you have the big... You have a lot of support system is what I see, okay? And probably now... Um, you are weighed by a lot of responsibilities. There is a lot on your shoulders, which is getting taken uh, care of in the next five years. Okay, in the next five years, in this version of you, uh, which I see in the next five years, I see that you are no longer taking this weight of unnecessary tasks that you have to do, have to have to do on a daily basis because you have people to help you out. Okay. You are only delegating work. You are only delegating stuff to people. You yourself are enjoying the luxury of having your own time to do whatever you want to do. Okay, You have a lot of time to nurture yourself, to feel your best, to make yourself feel that you are special. And um, I see that um you know you are enjoying outdoors a lot probably you're traveling a lot i see that um i'm i'm just sitting in my living room and looking at the garden at my garden outside and the weather is so beautiful um 
this tells me that you know you will be enjoying nature around you you will have the time to sit and ponder how blessed you are to have such beautiful uh you may have a beautiful garden like me or uh you know you will have everything that you always wished for so there is a lot of uh completeness there's a lot of abundance you will feel like a queen okay pile number 1 So I sense a lot of beautiful energies. I sense a lot of luxury around you. Um What else? There's a lot of queen like feeling for sure, can't deny that. Pile number 1. You will feel like a queen because you are not slogging yourself anymore. Probably you yourself are currently because you have no one to help you out. and um this is getting sorted in the next 5 years i see that you are becoming more reserved okay um you are becoming more wise more reserved um you are you have started um uh, understanding that um uh, spending time alone gives you that time to speak to your soul on a much deeper level and you appreciate that okay probably currently even if you are left out alone you feel like you feel that anxiety that uh am i going to live like this all alone by myself uh will i have the right support system and all that uh fear of uncertainties make you fear your and question your future but now in the next 5 years i see that since you have everything at your disposal you have a happy family you have staff to help you out with your daily chores um you have uh you know you have all the luxury there's a lot of venus energy around you by the way pile number 1 uh the empress is like epitome of venus energy so you have um everything around you you have good clothes to wear you have good jewelry to wear you have a fine you've developed a fine taste okay and you have the luxury to choose beautiful things for yourself and now that you have the time to sit alone and enjoy nature i see that you don't really feel that isolation you don't feel the negativity that is attached to being alone what you currently face at this moment i feel that currently you do not associate a uh, loneliness to a positive thing but 5 years from now uh you will associate this feeling with a lot of wisdom with a lot of uh maturity okay um since you have a lot of time to you know spend alone i see that um you will put to very wise use okay probably you will read a lot of books because you have the time to do so and you will gain a lot of wisdom i see that people who are mean to you right now you know they are leaving you alone they they just they just they have just fallen out by then people who are making you feel uncomfortable people who are making you feel that you're small okay i see that you will look back and laugh at these people you will you will when you remember that this time 5 years down the lane you will laugh at yourself okay you will laugh at how you uh you know you will laugh at yourself thinking how small petty things bothered you like how could you even uh let such a small thing affect you mentally or emotionally this is so petty okay uh this is a feeling of nostalgia this is a card of nostalgia six of cups and i and it tells me that um when you are going to remember today's date 5 years down the lane um you will actually make fun of yourself pile number 1 i'm not lying this is like you will laugh at yourself like how how kiddish was i how childish how innocent was i 
that I fell in that trap, okay? So there is a huge, huge difference, okay? There's a huge difference. Let me see what is the current energy around you now and what is changing five years. Because uh, I want to see that because, you know, there is the energy is so drastic. Pile number one. What is the current energy of your life right now? What is the current energy of your life right now? By number one. The sun. The wave of fortune. And the world. Wow. Pile number one. I see that right now what you're manifesting is all coming true. Okay, the wheel of fortune and the world card. This is your current energy. No wonder you're attracting this up like beautiful, yummy energy five years down the lane. Okay, I see that you are putting your efforts in uh, maintaining a positive mindset and you are manifesting. Okay, you the wheel of fortune is telling that you are uh, trying your luck at um you know tr you, you, you're trying your luck with the law of attraction probably okay i see that you are studying the universal laws and applying them practically to see how you can change your life probably you're doing vision boards and all of that you're doing a lot of manifestations pile number one and that is coming true whatever you're manifesting i see that you are vibrating at a very high frequency pile number one and that is going to show you results five years down the lane. Uh, when is your turning point? Five years down the line. Okay, so I'm starting to see a middle ground. Uh, when is the turning point in your life that uh, things that you, that you know that what you're trying to manifest is finally showing up slowly in your life? When is the turning point? Where is the turning point for pile number one? It's 2025 February. Okay. So 2025 February onwards, I see pile number one. You will start see a major, uh, you will start seeing a major shift in your energy, a major shift in your surroundings. You will start uh, slowly uh, noticing things that whatever you're trying to manifest is finally starting to show up in the most beautiful ways. Okay, uh, you will have synchronicities. Probably you will see that uh, you were thinking of something in the morning, maybe an object. You, you wanted to get something for yourself in the morning and two days later, you see someone gifting that same item to you, okay? So I see that the universe will start showing you beautiful, positive um, synchronicities uh, 2025 February onwards. So that is the turning point in your life that you see uh, that your life is taking a huge shift, okay? The wheel of fortune starts rotating for you after the end of this year okay this year so uh the sun is like um it's telling me that it's the next and the world card the sun and the annual the this world card is telling me that after this year like the after the end of 2024 things are starting to move in a positive direction for you and specifically you will yourself notice positive difference in your life positive changes in your life after 2025 february onwards okay so that was your reading pile number one i hope this was helpful and if it was don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't because i post videos every single day okay so now let's move to pile number two so pile number two whoever chose uh this clipper paper this paper clipper, sorry, what did I say? I said paper, clipper paper. So it's the other way around. It's the paper clipper, okay? So this is your choice. It's a red paper clipper and 
uh, the, uh, the, the shape is a heart. Okay, pile number two. So let's start with your reading. Um, how is your life going to look like five years from now? Pile number two. Pile number two, how is your... Oops, I already have one. Five of Wands. The Hierophant. Pile number two, I see that uh, your life is taking a major turn in the in the next five years in a way that your belief system is changing totally. I see that you are fighting the norms. You are fighting the uh, traditional belief system. Your life is way, way more different than what traditional people uh, do or what are the societal norms okay your 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 way of living is going to be entirely different from what others do okay because why am i saying it that why am i saying this because i see the five of wands the hierophant and this and the ace of swords you have a very very strong clarity in your mind about who you are why you're doing something what is your life purpose what is your path and all of it you have a very very clear understanding of your spiritual path you are spiritually awakened and when one you know when somebody is spiritually awake when uh, they are no more in that unconscious state of being where they are just closing their eyes and following the rut they're following the rat race uh when somebody's eyes have opened, you cannot make them do a certain thing that is uh, supposedly the right path according to what others are doing. So it's impossible to make you uh, follow a herd. Okay, you are not uh, one of those herd followers. Okay, so if um, you know, being in a certain nine to five occupation or being in a certain career path is the, uh, you know, trend in around the people that you are surrounded by. Uh, I see that it no longer aligns with you. Five uh, in the next five years from now, your belief system is a complete, uh, you know, it's a complete new set of belief system that you have. And that is coming from a lot of uh, inner wisdom. It's coming from a lot of, uh, how do I say it? It's, it's, it's coming from within, okay? You know yourself. You have, it's like somebody has shown you the mirror. This is what you look like, okay? Accept it. And it, 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 it made a huge shift in your mindset, Okay? So five years down the lane, this is what uh, I see. It's a major shift in your life, I know, but this is for good. Okay, pile number two. What else do I see here? I see that you're starting a new belief. You're starting a new following. Okay, people are following you because you're inspired by the newness that you have brought through your ideas through your perspectives maybe okay um and you have fought um against the norms to get to be boldly uh, following what you're following the devil you have come out of this mental trap it's like there is no fear in you okay pile number two Nothing can stop you. And the biggest thing that, you know, um, stops us in our shoes is our fear. And someone who is fearless, someone who is courageous, there's no obstacles for such a person. No matter what may the situation come, no matter what situation may come ar along their path, they will never give up. Okay, they will never feel trapped. They will never feel uh, like somebody is taking control of their life because they will not let anyone take control of their lives of, uh, in the first place. Okay, they are not scared to voice their opinions. They are not scared to take a step to come out of a dingy, dark place 
where uh, they are trying, they are being, uh, you know, pushed by someone else, by someone else who's dominating them. Okay. They won't, I basically want to say that uh, this is someone who would not let anyone um, dominate them. Okay. It's like you have, you have mustered a huge amount of courage and nothing can stop you from growth, okay? Because you know your reality, you know your potential. I see that in the next five years, you have such a clear idea of your potential that you're not ready to stop. And that's very, very powerful energy that I'm getting. Pile number two. There's no fear in you. You have overcome all your fears. Seven of Cups. I see that, uh, you know, you have a lot of ideas. You have, you are open to a lot of possibilities. You are no more restricted, constricted, or stagnant in your life. Okay? You are open to new explorations. You are open to new pos uh, uh, possibilities, new opportunities. You're always ready for something new. Okay? Pile number two. Because you're not scared of being in a rut or you're not scared of following a rat, a rat race. You know there is always something better for you. And you're not scared to chase it. You're chasing your dreams. And you have the confidence to chase your dreams. What else? Knight of Wands, you are not ready to stockpile number two. Okay, there's a lot of motion. You are very, very high spirited. You are very, very motivated, self motivated, self driven. Okay, you have a lot of energy, a lot of power. You have so many ideas and you want to implement them. Uh, you are not scared of what others think, what others' judgments are about you. You are, you have become someone so bold, so courageous, not ready to stop even uh, if somebody is trying to degrade you, criticize you or pull you down. Okay. Uh, let me see where is this change coming from? What is initiating this change? What is initiating this change in you? Pile number two. What is initiating this change in you? Your fears. I knew it. I absolutely knew it. You Currently, I see that you are self-doubting, in, in a self-doubting mode. You are doubting your capabilities. You are doubting uh, the uncertainties. You're not sure where you're headed. You're not, probably you're not even sure of what your hidden talents are. Okay, you're not trusting your intuition, you're not trusting what lies ahead in your path. Okay, and suddenly I see that uh, you decide to face your shadows. I see that probably you're doing some shadow work. Okay, because the moon card is all about shadow work. It's, a, it's about recognizing your shadows. It's about working on your shadows. Okay, not being scared of your shadow self. Okay, I see what is initiating this huge amount of courage and change in your attitude in the next five years is your shadow work. So if you are pile number two, if you are doing uh, some kind of a shadow work a thing, you are journaling on a daily basis, you're trying to analyze your feelings, you're trying to read books on how to manage your emotions, how to get rid of fear, what is fear, what causes fear. What triggers you? You're trying to understand yourself on a deeper, more spiritual level. Then yes, you are on the right track because five years down the lane, you are a whole different new person. Okay. Pile number two, I see that uh, you are someone people look up to. Probably, I, I, I see pile number two, I forgot to mention, I see that you are becoming a coach. Okay. You're becoming a guru. You're becoming a life coach. People are following People are following you because you are setting an example of how your life can become if you are not following the rat race. 
how authentic living can live uh can uh lead you to live your authentic life that is meant for you that is your sole purpose and that gives you so much of more pleasure and happiness okay i see that you are preaching authenticity you are preaching uh knowing yourself to the truest core okay that was powerful okay by number 2 very very powerful reading uh what else what you like pile number 2 i see that probably you're lying to yourself all the time right now and you probably realize that it's better to lie it's better to tell yourself a better lie if you are anyways lying to yourself what i mean by it is we are constantly lying to us or to ourselves okay we are constantly worrying about things which are not even existent like probably you're worrying about your health probably you're worrying that you're not good um you're not you know you are not as good as you would like to be in your work okay and you're saying to yourself i'm not as good uh i'm not confident i can't do this i can't do that okay and you're lying to yourself you know you 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 how do you know how do you uh even if you if you haven't even tried doing it once how do you even know that you can't do it okay so you are lying to yourself so i see that you realized that or you are going to realize that if you are lying to yourself you would rather tell yourself a better lie it's like if you're programming your mind by telling a lie you would rather say to yourself oh my god i'm brilliant at this okay oh no one can no one can do better than me okay and you're telling these lies to yourself and this is a better lie because you are getting programmed in your subconscious mind that yes you can do it there's no self it's there's no self doubt there's no impostor syndrome okay um uh, you have understood how to trick your mind okay basically i see that you have cracked the code pile number 2 how to uh train your mind to get what you want okay you have cracked the code to work through your fears work through your uncertainties and get to a point where you want to be okay you've cracked the code and that's it. that is what is happening in the next 5 years okay that is your storyline that is going to happen in the next 5 years let me see the timeline uh by when will you see the results okay by when by when can you expect to see uh the change taking place in your life by when can you see this change happening in your life by when i see that in the next two years okay these two years like 2024 is difficult you are still in that negative zone uh, but now that you know this i see that you are going to start your journey towards working on your shadow side okay i see that currently probably you're you're dealing with some kind of uh, grief you're dealing with some uh you're dealing with some losses or you're dealing with some you know current energy is five of cups and that is about grief it's about a loss it's not it's about not having enough not being uh, emotionally satisfied about something and 2025 i see that you are putting all the efforts okay knight of wands you are going all in and doing everything that you can to uplift yourself to upgrade yourself and that is when you are putting your time and energy in elevating your vibrations in working in you're putting time and energy in improving yourself you're doing self work 
okay and the results that you see is in 2026 okay so 2026 i see that you will start seeing a humongous amount of change in your life if you are spending a lot of time uh, on your self growth on your self work um, as soon as possible uh, here in the cards i see that 2025 is the time that you will be ready to do so but i would request you to start as soon as possible why delay if you know the results are going to be so beautiful okay so that is your reading pile number two i hope this was helpful and let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed this and let's move to pile number three three so whoever chose this green paper clipper and the shape here is the clove the clover sorry not the clove the clover okay this is your reading and let's find out what's happening in your life in the next five years from now what is changing in your life in the next five years from now where are you at oops there are two different decks mixed up uh what is it that you can expect in your life in the next five years from now the world two of cups and the eight of cups i see that pile number three you are doing something that is truly aligned to your heart space okay i see the world uh the two of cups and the eight of pentacles i see that work wise you are so satisfied you are happily spending hours doing what you love and you don't even realize that you're working okay your world is changing it's like you're entering a new portal it's like you are uh, in the next five years, I see that you're starting a new phase of your life, an entirely different new phase where you are living the life of your dreams. The angels have blessed you with so much of beauty, so much of peace, so much of joy, so much of emotional fulfillment. And I see that, um, you know, you love your work. You are in love with your work. Okay. You are having a beautiful relationship with your work life. So I see that you're working hours and you don't even know how time passes by because you absolutely enjoy it. Okay. You are, you are living your dream career life. And that is making you so happy and content. Pile number three. Very, very beautiful energy. I see that uh, you are being famous. The world card is telling me that you are receiving a lot of attention uh, globally. People from all over the world are getting to know you. People from all over the world are getting to see you and communicate with you. You are, um, you know, your work is appreciated globally. I don't know what it is that you're doing. Probably you are um, working on a YouTube channel and that is changing your life in the next five years. Who knows? Uh, probably you are getting into a media, um, you know, you're getting into a line of media visibility or uh, you're getting into acting or any kind of art field where you are being appreciated for your work globally. Okay, pile number three. And that is absolutely your happy space. Uh, it is your sole purpose. It is your life path and you are fulfilling your life path by doing that is aligned to your heart chakra. Okay, this is uh, it's a work that you do and this is a work that gives you a whole lot of happiness and pleasure and joy. Okay, uh, I see this has something to do with a lot of craftsmanship, uh, talent regarding your uh, your attention to detail and uh, something to do with your hands probably for some it is something to do with your hands uh, for others it could be anything else but there is a lot of repetitive things like it it's 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 it has to do with something that you do on a daily basis you are creating something on a daily basis every day day in and day out the fool i see that um 
you this journey that you have started is something that you have uh, playfully started but you never expected that this is going to be so fulfilling okay i see that you probably accidentally stepped into this career path okay for some i see that okay um and for some i see that you have uh, fought a lot of people to follow this life path um for some also for some i see that uh, you were probably in a very very um restrictive career path where you were not receiving what you were looking for emotionally the eight of cups is telling me that you were not happy currently probably you are not happy in your career path and you're not sure what is it that you should do to so that you can earn a lot of abundance money prosperity in your life but also be happy emotionally and enjoy your work okay so i see that this is what is happening this is what is changing okay uh, i see that you are leaving a career path and uh, you know a lot of people were against this decision of you leaving this career path but you stood your ground and you fought against this people seven of wands is about fighting for something that you truly believe in okay seven of wands is about taking a stand for yourself seven of swords is a seven of sorry seven of wands seven of wands is about taking a stand for yourself honoring yourself fighting for what you truly truly believe fighting for something that is authentic to you okay and you will uh go to any extent to uh you know fight for uh what you want to do okay and that is what is happening here you leave a traditional career path and you're fighting for something that you truly want to do and you take the risk okay the fool is the fool card is uh, about uh not paying heed to what others are telling you people may call you a fool but you are uh, not paying any heed to them you're not uh you know paying at any attention to what is uh anybody calling you what is what are what are the judgments of people on you okay you see this dog trying to stop him but he is not ready to listen okay so i see that you are dancing to your own beats and that is giving you so much of joy by number 3 this is going to change your life and it is i see that 5 years down the lane you are doing absolutely what you stood for okay if you have been struggling if you are currently in this phase where you are trying to um you know fight for what you want to do congratulations because your persistence is going to pay you back 5 years down the line you will see enormous amount of positive results and huge outcome with a lot of abundance prosperity money fame coming to you because you stood by your decision or following your path your your dream career path okay uh let's see what else do you have in store by number 3 what else do you have in store a uh, judgment it's like a rebirth for you okay i see that you are ending a certain career path and um uh, you are listening to what the angels are calling you to do okay you are listening to uh your true calling the judgment is telling me that you are you finally hear the true calling that was constantly trying to poke you was constantly nudging you and trying to remind you that this is what you should be doing probably you never paid heed to it probably you tried to silent it but finally you're given and that is going to change your life forever six of cups a hint that i have is something that you enjoyed in your childhood something that you always uh, were very very interested as a child okay that is your true calling i don't know what it is for everyone uh, it's it is going to be different this is a group reading and i can't pinpoint on one but one very very you know the uh, very common example that i get to see here is uh, is creating art probably creating art is something that always uh, is one of your favorite uh, hobbies 
and um, you lose track of time whenever you're creating art i see that this is something that is going to give you a lot of fame and abundance okay in the next five years and that is going to change your life if you have just started in your art journey i see that uh, everything is going in the positive direction and you will see results in the next five years um If you don't know what it is that you like to do as a child, ask your parents, ask them what was it that uh, you were happy doing for hours as a kid and you will get a hint of what it was. Okay, uh, Ten of Swords, I see that your fears regarding the success of a career related to this path is all uh, cleared out. Okay, I see that you never pursued this because you had a lot of fear about um, the longevity of this career or uh, the potential of giving you abundance in this career or the potential of giving you a, a stability in this career. I see there is a lot of false judgment around this career path. You could be, this could be a career related to dance even, okay? I see there is a lot of false judgment of people, a lot of, um, you know, a lot of false beliefs, a lot of false um, ideologies that is attached to this particular profession that you want to pursue. But you are giving a damn to all of it. Okay, pile number three, you're being bold and you are finally decided to let it all go. And um, no matter what, no matter who comes and uh, asks me to stop, I'm not going to stop, okay? So you're very, very clear about where you are headed. Let me see what is going to be the turning point where things will start showing up in your life, okay? What is the turning point when things will start showing up in this direction? When will you start seeing a difference towards this outcome? I see that by the end of this year itself, you will get to see a difference. You will start to see that there is some kind of a universal alignment that is pushing you towards this certain um, career path. For most, like 80% of you, I feel it's the field of art, okay, because I also see the temperance. I see that um, by the end of December, you will get into the field of um, something artistic, something creative, okay? And that is going to uh, be in your life. That is going to slowly grow, slowly snowball itself into something huge in the next five years from now, okay? So that was your reading, pile number three. If you like this reading, let me know in the comment section. I would love to read your comments and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe because i post videos every single day and i will see you tomorrow in a new reading till then take care bye bye